carried on. However, in recruiting Paul Rogers, they, in effect, recruited someone who appealed to the worst aspects of the Queen catalogue. They're kind of their, their clumping side, their pub rock side. And also, he sang with an auto key. This means that Queen had recruited the only man in the Western world who didn't know the words to We Are The Champions to be Queen's singer. It was an extraordinary thing to do. If you'd to look on Wikipedia, say, it says that Queen are still going as a band, and I think that they've been going just as long without Freddie as they, as they did with him, which is just ridiculous. When they did the Paul Rogers stuff, it, it was a failure. Nobody enjoyed that. The hardcore Queen fans um, felt quite resentful of anyone trying to take that space, and it was just a bad choice because he's a blues pub rock singer. He's very macho. He wears his singlet. He doesn't have much range in his voice. And it just felt like three guys playing around with old sort of 70s rock songs. In a surprising but successful move, American Idol runner-up Adam Lambert joined the band. I think he gets it. He gets that Queen were fantastically innovative, that they were really interesting, that they had a sense of fun about them, that they were camp, but also that they, they were... They were Questing and interesting. He's very, very flamboyant, but not in a Freddy way. I think it worked much, much better than even they imagined. I think maybe Freddy would have had a little chuckle to himself, but Adam Lambert, I kind of imagine he might have approved of that one. They can still play stadiums and they're, they're very happy. Um, you know, good luck to them, they're doing that. They can still sell out huge venues in, in South America and it's a nice, unexpected um, appendix to their career. There's no way that they believed 15 or 20 years ago that this could possibly have happened and, you know, you can't begrudge them that. There are a lot of bands still doing the same thing. Clearly it was a collaboration that wouldn't last. And that's fine too, but Adam Lambert went a long way to giving Queen a good name again. The catalogue of 